this looks like store-bought honey because there's a label on there. What that truly is, is I transferred the honey to this grocery store bottle. So if I went through customs, I wouldn't have any issues. Good move. But that is that is the same honey I showed you in the video. So if you if you look at it, you can open it up. You'll see a couple things. You'll see it's a little bit more liquidy than typical honey, typical right. golden, you know, in the bottle shaped like a bear honey. And this is supposed to be the honey that makes you trip balls? Yeah. Does it? So I think we should try it in a moment. In a moment? Are you willing to try it? Yeah, I'll try it right now. Don't try it right now. Okay. Okay, hold on. A little okay. bit of build up, a little bit of okay. backstory. Do you have a video of you doing it yet or is it not, not yet. released yet? Not released so yet. So we can find a video of uh, them harvesting mad honey because it's really fascinating how they have to do it. Yes. Yeah, so I, it was about maybe a 12 hour drive from the capital of Kathmandu that we went to this village of maybe 500 people and we joined these, these guys as they collected the honey. And they don't have like honey boxes. The honey is on the, the mountain sides. And they basically risk their lives taking uh, these ladders. They have these ladders, these rope ladders, and the reason they need rope ladders is because they need to be able to hike sometimes up to several hours to go to where the honey is. Whoa. The honey's not conveniently located. It's located wherever the hell the bees put it. Keep playing it, Jim. And so they, they take these rolled up ladders and they, they string it on the cliff. They climb the ladders or descend from the ladders, and then they have to carefully use these long sticks to cut the honeycomb off of the mountainside. Uh, before doing that, they put some pegs into the honeycomb. So this is like a big, flat, protruding honeycomb coming from the mountainside. And then eventually they cut it off and they lower it down. Uh, the people on the bottom then collect the honey and they can start to process it. As soon as they get the smoke going, these bees go insane. And you see thousands of bees stinging the shit out of everything and everyone trying to get uh, through people's clothing. And, you know, when bees sting, their stinger comes out. Right. So, so all, it's all just a kamikaze mission for all these different bees. And so all these people are getting stung. Um, so they had the appropriate clothing. But I their know, hands. The guy, my guide, who wasn't used to being there, got about four bees inside the hat, and that's never what you want. And so their solution was that to that was to reach to his hat inside the net and pinch the bees inside rather than trying to get them out. They just killed him inside. Oh. And so when they, they got the honey, for example, you can see here they're dumping it out of the basket. There's going to be tons of bees and honey mixed together. When I flew my drone there, I landed the drone and it was wet with bee body parts. I sh must have shredded a thousand bees just with my drone. Wow. So they are on the defense. And before you go there, before you put the smoke... The honeycomb is black because it's completely covered by the bees. But after the smoke comes up, it reveals the actual yellow honeycomb underneath. That's one aspect. The other aspect is the, the hallucinogenic um, light-headed effects that are purported to come from eating the honey. So how does that happen? The, the bees collect, uh, I forget if it's nectar or pollen, from certain types of flowers that grow there locally. And these flowers has some kind of chemicals inside it's a it creates a neurotoxic effect uh, in your brain when you eat it so i interviewed a villager this is why i want to build up a little bit so you can see how gung-ho about trying the honey you still are but i think we should still absolutely do it together okay. i went to a villager there i was thinking everyone's just going to be jacked up on honey all the time and it's a great time and so i talked to this guy he was the one who owned the cliff where the uh, the, the honey is and i said how often do you do it he goes i did it 20 years ago that's the last time I said, can you walk me through the experience? He said, I took a lot and I couldn't walk for 24 hours. I said, oh, you couldn't walk. Okay, that's pretty extreme. I, I've heard similar stories from people while I was there and it seemed interesting because at least in the village I went to, I know it's different in different parts of Nepal, but at least where I went, people seemed like yeah, I, I've done it and I'm good. Hmm. So this brings me to that day I tried a bit. I tried about a spoon. And I got scared about trying too much because we still had to hike an hour out of there, then a three-hour drive. I'm like, I, I need to use my legs. But my brother, my brother joined me, my brother Scott joined me at a hotel in St. Cloud recently about a week and a half ago. And he knew I had the honey because I talked about bringing it here. And he's like, I want to try the honey. And he's a bit of a hater. And he's like, it's fucking honey. What's going to happen? <laughs> and I got to go to bed because I got work to do the next day. And so I'm in his room across from mine in the hotel. And I, I give him a couple spoons. And I'm like, you should just do a couple spoons. Wait 30 minutes and see how you feel. He goes, uh, yeah, no. Just give, give me more. You're going to sleep soon. Just give me more. If I want more, I'll take it. So while I'm still there, he takes more. Maybe five, six spoons. 
Then I go, all right, I got to go to bed. Have a good time. Let me know. Actually, I said, why don't you text me the effects during the evening and I'll know what to expect when I do it. So here's what he said. I've got his text right here. Feels good. Warm, warm breath. He goes on. Totally legit. All right. Hater vibes. Gone. My body's on fire in a very positive way. It's weird. My scalp feels hot. My muscles tingle. So far, good. Might get nauseous. Take less. I can't tell. Not good. Regret. <laughs> Very bad. Just don't. Stupid. I keep hoping I'm done. I'm so sick. At 5.40 a.m. I should maybe eat a banana. So, that's my brother. So, how much in total did he take? Six spoons. Six of this spoon. I brought this spoon because I want. I needed like a measurement system right. that was accurate. I'm like, I need to know exactly which spoon Your you basic used. Basic plastic ice cream spoon. Yeah. Okay, let's try a little bit. Try a little bit. I I don't know if you want to share this plastic spoon. I also brought these. These are a little bit deeper. Okay. This is what well, was. I think in I should use a regular spoon. The spoon. Oh, this one. That, uh, it doesn't matter. I was going right. to use the spoon that was used. Okay. You uh, can. So you got to mix it up first. Okay. Mix it up real good. I mixed it up before coming here, but it separates. I'm not right. sure what's separating it's in there. It's very liquidy. It's very different than honey, like regular honey. I'm just going to have a little bit. Smell like honey? Yeah. It tastes like honey, too. Do a whole spoon. No. I'm going to do a half spoon. Okay. You got yeah. plans tonight? Yeah, I got a show I got to do. I can't <laughs> have fake legs. My <laughs> legs aren't moving. Fake legs. Wow, it feels weird. Yeah, so don't drink any water. Uh, I'll take a little bit, too. It definitely feels different than regular honey. I think I took too much. Yeah? Let's find out. So, you want to put the lid on it? Sure. I'll leave this one here for you. Thank you. You can try it on your own time. Uh -oh. The first thing I experienced... You don't want to leave me alone to try things on my own time. <laughs> I've gone down dark roads. Do you feel anything? Because right away, I feel it in the back of my throat. Yeah, I feel it in the back of my throat. Itchy. <clears throat> like, I want to cough. I want to clear my throat. Yeah, it's... um. It's almost got like a, oh, it, it's not hot, like uh, hot peppers, but it's got like that feeling like you're reacting to it almost like a hot pepper a little bit. Hmm. 